Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, in the sequence of named reaction of organic chemistry, today I am going to discuss Canis Arrow reaction. Canis Arrow reaction. Canis Arrow reaction, what it basically means when and aldehyde without any alpha hydrogen without any alpha hydrogen undergoes redox reaction in presence of in presence of strong base strong base it gives it gives alcohol and an acidic salt Simply, can is arrow reaction when an aldehyde. Basically, aldehyde which do not have an alpha hydrogen. Like simply, suppose this. This is our formaldehyde, and formaldehyde do not have alpha hydrogen. When formaldehyde two compounds, when formaldehyde two compounds. Formaldehyde's two compound undergoes redox reaction means here oxidation and reduction simultaneously take place. So that's why it's called as redox reaction when two molecule of aldehyde which do not have hyd alpha hydrogen undergoes redox reaction in the presence of any base. Any base is strong base. A strong base that will be our sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide then it will form an alcohol alcohol since it's since it's a single carbon compound and alcohol methyl alcohol and a second molecule will get oxidized and that will form an acid and here acidic salt here will be H C double O K so this is basically the first molecule get reduced and form the alcohol while second molecule get oxidized and form an acid so simple what will be the mechanism here so let's discuss the mechanism of this reaction the mechanism of this reaction undergoes into the three step so i will discuss one by one so step one step first and first step what will happen firstly what will happen this our base will get breakdown k o h and after breakdown what will form here potassium ion as well as hydroxide ion this molecule will be formed now this hydroxide molecule will firstly attack in a first aldehyde compound so in this first step what will happen H C double O H now this hydroxide molecule will act as a nucleophile now this nucleophile will attack on this molecule then after your hydroxide ion molecule this will attack on here on this carbon molecule when this attack then what will happen this double bond 
will get shifted towards this oxygen molecule. Then what will happen here? H C. This double bond will get break down and get a single bond. Now this is oxygen will get a negative charge. And this hydroxide molecule will get added on this carbon molecule and second hydrogen. This is the first step. First step and the name of this first step is attack of nucleophile. Attack of nucleophile. Attack of nucleophile. This hydroxide molecule act as a nucleophile. Next, now this molecule will get react with second aldehyde molecule and on the reaction with the second aldehyde molecule that is H C double O H. Second step is your hydride transfer, hydride transfer and in the hydride transfer what will happen? This negative charge will be shifted towards here and this hydride hydrogen will take this bond and attack on this carbon. Attack on this carbon then what will be formed next here after this what will form here H C double bond OH plus now this here when this molecule will attack on here then this bond will be shifted towards here then H C H H O minus this now after this reaction what will happen this OH and now this is the hyd this step was the hydride transfer now proton transfer will be take place means this hydrogen now here your next step will be this hydroxide this H will be transferred to here and what will form in the next step C H H H O H and second molecule will be H C double bond O O minus now here this your formaldehyde ion form, formic acid ion will react with your this potassium ion and on the attack of this potassium ion here what will be formed your resultant product will be CS3OH your alcohol and next H C double OK okay. that is your formic potassium formate so this is the mechanism of the Canizaro reaction now we will discuss an example So recently we, in this we have studied when the same aldehyde molecule react but if two different for aldehyde molecule react like your benzaldehyde and another one your formaldehyde both are different then what will happen just remember one word soa what is the meaning of soa here s means smaller a smaller 
O. O means oxidized. And A means what will form? Acid. So, a smaller oxidized and form acid. So, which one is the smaller here? Formaldehyde. Then formaldehyde will get oxidized and form acid. While bigger will get reduced and form alcohol. So, what will happen here? Simply, your resultant product will be This is bigger, bigger will be reduced and form alcohol. So, H, this is your benzyl alcohol and another product will be your acidic salt form means here H, C, double O, H smaller oxidized and form acid while simply another one BRA means bigger reduced and form what alcohol okay so this is the Canizaro reaction and their example thank you